What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord Dodge.js tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a pretty basic ticket system. So before we get started, like I always do in every tutorial, let me just give my Discord server a quick shout out. This is a Discord server for the Discord.js coding community. So if you like coding Discord bots and need help or want to share your code, come here into the coding section and use all these channels as you please. All right, so whatever server your bot is in, we're gonna actually have to create a category for all the tickets. So go ahead and create a category. We're gonna name this tickets. And every single time someone opens a ticket, it's gonna create a channel inside of this category. So there you go. Now go ahead and actually copy the ID of that category. So just right click, copy ID. And then let's go ahead and actually get started with our code. Open up your project, go into the commands folder and create a new command. We're going to be doing a command. You don't necessarily have to do a command. You can do something like send a message in a specific channel and they can react to a message to open a ticket. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be doing a command. So ticket.js, we're going to do the typical module.exports, module.exports. And we're going to be doing the same thing we always do in every tutorial. So we're going to add name. Name's going to be ticket. We're also going to add an alias, so aliases. We're going to leave this empty and then we're going to do permissions. We're also going to leave that empty, but you guys can customize this as much as you want. And in description, you can write something like open a tickets and then the execute method that we always do. We're going to pass in message. We're going to pass in args. We are going to pass in CMD client and discord make sure you're passing your parameters correctly. Check your message.js. And actually we have to make this execute method asynchronous. So make it async. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually get uh, to create a channel. So when someone types this command, we want to create a channel inside of that parent category. So const channel, const channel, it's going to be equal to await message that guild dot channels, if I can spell channels correctly, channels dot create. And what we want to create is the name of the channel. So we're going to do a back tank. Um, this is going to be a, a string literal. It's going to be ticket and then money sign bracket. And the ticket was from message.author.tag. So this is going to be the name of the channel that is being created. The next thing we're going to do is actually set the parent category of this channel to this category that we just created. And we copied the ID, so make sure you have the ID. And then down below, all we're going to do is do channel dot uh, set parent and in here just paste in the ID of that category Now what we want to do is we want to update some permissions from this channel because what we want to have Is when someone creates a ticket only that person that created the ticket should be allowed to see what's in that ticket um, And of course any other administrators so to do this We want to go ahead and actually overwrite all of the permissions for that channel so channel dot update overwrite and in here we want to update all of the permissions for uh, the whole entire guild so message that guild that id we're going to do a comma open this up with brackets and we are going to do two permissions that we want to have off for our whole entire guild so send messages is going to be uh equals to false and then view channel is also going to be false. So nobody in the actual server is going to be able to look at this channel except administrators. But we do want that user who just sent the message to be able to do these commands here or these permissions. So channel dot update overwrite. We're going to be doing the same thing, but instead of message that guild that ID, we want to overwrite the permissions for message that author. And we're going to basically do the same thing. So I'm going to copy this, but instead of false, we're going to do true. So whoever sent uh, that command is going to be able to send messages as well as view the channel. All right. So last thing, or one of the last things is actually creating the message that we're going to be sending inside of the ticket channel. So you can customize as much as you want. Basically it's going to say, Hey, welcome to a ticket. We'll be right with you or something like that. So I do const reaction uh, message equals await channel that's sent. And we're going to send a message saying, thank you for contacting support, something like that. All right. And then what we're going to do is usually a lot of ticket systems actually have a closing ticket as well as completely deleting the channel. So these are two emojis. I'm actually going to copy the emojis right here. 
when someone reacts to this message right here with this emoji, we want to lock the channel. We want to say, hey, the member that just opened the ticket, you cannot send any more messages. We're locking this ticket for the time being. And then we also want to have for administrators to completely just delete the ticket. So these are the two emojis they're going to be using to do that. So try and then catch. We're going to catch if an error occurs. And if an error occurs, we're just going to actually send it in the channel saying uh, channel that send error sending sending uh, emojis. And then simply just throw the error so we get it in the console. Inside of our try, what we want to do is we want to await reaction message. So we're getting this message that we just sent that react and we want to react with each of these emojis. So the first one is going to be the lock in the channel. We're going to go ahead and actually copy the same thing down here, paste it. And the second one is actually going to be the closing of the channel. So when an administrator clicks this, it's going to lock the channel. When the administrator reacts with this emoji, then it's going to go ahead and completely delete the ticket. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is actually create a reaction collector. I haven't talked much about collectors in this channel, but I guess over time we are going to start to know what collectors are. So down below our try and catch, what we want to do is create a collector. So const um, collector. It's going to be equal to reaction message, which is the message we are sending up here dot create reaction reaction collector. And then we're going to open this up and then open it up one more time. We're going to pass in two things, reaction and user. And this is going to be an arrow function. And then we're going to do message dot guild dot members dot cash dot find. We're going to open this up one more time and then one more time. And we're going to do member and do another arrow function. It's going to be member that ID triple equals uh, user that ID. I'm actually going to save this. So it's down here and organize it a little bit better. And then I'm going to do dot has permission. So what we're doing here is that for these locking and deleting the ticket, it has to be an administrator. You know, if the user, whoever opened the ticket can close and delete the ticket, it's going to be a pretty faulty system. So you only want administrators to actually be able to close and lock the ticket. So if it has the permission administrator, they're going to be able to do all of the closing and the deleting. So once again, we're going to do a comma and then we're going to open this up with brackets down here and then we're going to do dispose true. And just like that, we are done with the collector. The next thing is down here below. We are just going to go ahead and do an event for the collector. And this collector event is called collect. So collector dot on, and then we're going to do collect. So once it collects the reactions, we want to pass two things in reaction as well as user Do an arrow function, open this up, and then we're going to do a switch case. So switch reaction dot emoji dot name. And what I'm going to do is actually create the logic for the locking and for the deleting. So open this up case. It's this emoji. We want to lock the channel. So what we're going to do is do channel dot update overwrite. And what we're going to do is update the permissions of whoever sent the original ticket message. So the other user that's actually opening the ticket. Uh, it's going to do message.author. And what we're going to do is actually set the send messages permission completely off. Here, up here, we are turning it on. And here, we're just turning it off. You can actually change it too, so they can't view it anymore if you're locking it. But for this system, you're going to be able to lock it. They're going to still be able to see the ticket, but they're not going to be able to actually type inside of the ticket channel. So in here, send uh, underscore messages is going to be equals to false. And then what we're going to do is simply just break out of this uh, switch. Then we're going to do another case. In case this emoji was the one that got reacted to by an administrator. We want to completely go ahead and delete the actual channel. So we're going to do channel. That's send. We're going to send a message saying, hey, this channel is getting deleted in five seconds. So deleting this channel in five seconds. And then after this, let's actually create the logic for deleting it after five seconds, which is actually pretty simple. All we do is do a set timeout. Uh, open this up one more time with an arrow function channel dot delete. 
and then do a comma and then for how many milliseconds are in five seconds which is 5000 and then just simply break out of here pretty much done all the things we actually have to do that are left is actually send the user, whoever's typing the command, saying, hey, this is the channel that you're going to be able to contact us uh, when they send the message. And that's pretty much it. So message uh, out here, message to the channel that's sent. And what we want to send is something like, we will be right with you. Um, and actually, I want to make this a template literal with the back tick. Do money sign brackets. And we're going to do channel. All right, and then in here, we're gonna do a dot then. We're gonna create one called S, uh, MSG, which is not the same thing as message up here. Please don't confuse both of these. You can actually name this a little bit better, but for the tutorial, we're just gonna leave it like that. Do an arrow function, and we're gonna open this up with brackets. And then we're gonna do set timeout, another set timeout, and we're gonna uh, go ahead and actually delete the message that was sent by the bot, which is basically this right here in whatever channel the user just timed the command in. So we're going to do message dot delete or msg dot delete. Make sure you don't confuse them. And then it's going to be seven seconds. And then we're going to do set timeout. And then we're going to open this up one more time. Do the last arrow function. We're almost done. Message that delete and this message is this message up here not this right here that we're uh creating and then do a comma and then instead of seven seconds we're gonna do three seconds and make sure i close this off perfectly and then finally just in case we're just gonna do a dot catch just in case something happens with deleting the messages we're gonna do error do an arrow function and we're just gonna simply throw the air all right we're done coding. Let's actually see this in action. So let's run our bot. Clear. Run our bot. Let's see how this works because I have a dummy account here. This is a dummy account that we're going to be playing with. This account right here is the admin administrator account. So this account has admin on this channel or this Discord server. So let's go ahead and actually open up a ticket with our dummy account. So all we're going to do is do tickets. It's going to say, uh, we'll be right with you. It's going to actually tell them where to go. This is going to get deleted. And after seven seconds, this is going to get deleted. And then you can actually go into the tickets category and a ticket got created for Alesh Games. If you open up here, as you see from the right right here, in this channel, everyone has access to this channel, all of these users, uh, just like these right here. And then if we click the tickets, they don't have access. Only the person who opened the ticket has access. So now the person who opened the ticket can do like, I need your help. And then that, of course, is going to get transferred to the administrator command or the account over here in tickets. I need your help. And then if I try closing this or locking it with this dummy account, it's not going to do anything because I'm not an admin. I can't do anything. However, if with my admin account, I go ahead and actually lock it, the dummy account is not going to be actually, ooh, what happened? Did it not work? Let me come all the way down here and actually check. Message dot author send messages equals false. Message yes, not send message. Okay, that is my mistake. Sorry about that. So let me go ahead and rerun our bot. Let me go ahead and actually delete the channel and do this one more time just to see, open up ticket. Actually, I opened up a ticket with my real account. Let's open up a ticket with our dummy. There we go. And as you can see, the dummy can't see the other tickets, only the ticket that he opened. And then let's go ahead and actually close it or lock it. There we go. Lock. The code will be in the description for this mistake. Sorry about that. It's not send uh, message, it's send messages. But if we go to our dummy account, He's locked, completely locked at all. He can't do anything, uh, but he's going to be able to actually see what he wrote in this channel until the admin actually comes here and deletes the ticket. It's going to say deleting in five seconds. In five seconds, this channel will be deleted and he will no longer have the channel. And there you go. It's done. This guy no longer has a ticket available for him. He's done. He's out of here. 
take it over this is a very basic tutorial you can do a lot of things uh, such as saving all the tickets in a database just in case an admin wants wants to go over all of the tickets and see what actually happened or do some crazy stuff but this is kind of just like the basic things and how to actually create a ticket system go ahead and copy the code and do whatever you want with it the code will be in the description so i do want to thank all my patreons so if you do want to become a patreon there's going to be a link down below thank you so much for all your help they actually get cool perks in my discord server Server, and I'm actually working on even more perks with the current bot that I'm developing for my Discord server. So these are our Patreons. Thank you so much. Make sure you join my Discord server. And I will see you guys later on my next tutorial. Peace.